Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're going to talk about the jobs of the future. The world has changed with the rise of AI. So many new jobs appeared and so many jobs are actually disappeared. So I decided it's time to update my list of in-demand professions of the future. And at the end, I'll give you the top five professions that are actually dying. So if you're planning to build your career in those fields, you'll still have time to change your mind. My main sources of information were Forbes, Glassdoor, and the Future of Jobs report from the World Economic Forum. I also ranked the jobs from the least paid to the most money making. Before we actually dive into professions, I just wanted to mention that it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're a native speaker or not. You can work for a US company from anywhere in the world. So it's really important that you not only learn skills that are going to be in demand, but that you also speak good English so you can communicate with your managers and with your colleagues. If you're looking for a resource to learn English, I can highly recommend Lingua Trips course called From Intermediate to Advanced, which was created by my company's amazing teachers. They're all accredited. They're native speakers and non-native speakers, so they understand your needs exactly. In this course, we go through grammar aspects that you need to become advanced. Our teachers teach you vocabulary that you need to become advanced. We talk a lot about idioms. I am there to motivate you to learn English, and I will share some of my learning hacks. So if you're interested in learning English with us, the link will be below, and a special code will be next to that link. Now let's talk about the jobs of the future. So my last job has been trending for a while now. I think the hype started in 2020 and this is actually a social media influencer. It's really difficult to estimate how much the average influencer earns because the income range is too wide. But I can tell you that on YouTube, people make from two to $10 per 1000 views on average. So you can calculate based on that. Creators also can monetize through brand deals, through their courses. I see a lot of new creators appearing, especially now in 2024, when it became much easier to create content. I feel like we're entering an era where everyone will have some kind of social media. So if you want to treat it like a job, take it seriously. Now let's move on to the next profession. Prompt engineer. Now this is something relatively new and let me explain why. To get really helpful responses from AI, you need to be able to communicate with it. Otherwise, it will fetch you inaccurate and irrelevant results. So you need to be very clear with your questions. And there is actually a profession called prompt engineers who are professionals who know how to write accurate queries for AI and optimize its work to get the desired results. As of February 6, 2024, the average annual pay for a prompt engineer in the United States is around $63,000 a year. And yes, it's the least paid job on my list, but what's cool about it is that you can become a prompt engineer without a university degree and learn it yourself from articles on the internet and practice. And you don't need to be a native speaker to write perfect AI prompts either. The next job is sustainability specialist. Environmental and sustainable development is a global trend and is becoming more and more popular every year. Legislation in many countries increasingly obliges companies to monitor the effect they have on the environment. Have you seen those carbon credits? Also in California, we're gonna go all electric very soon. And those sustainability specialists design and implement sustainable policies and practices within corporations. The average salary of a sustainability specialist Specialist in the US can vary between $65,000 and $81,000 a year. Now, mental health counselors. According to the World Health Organization globally, one out of every four people will be impacted by mental illness at some point in their lives, and 350 million people worldwide suffer from depression. So we see higher demand for mental health specialists. There are also a lot of new AI tools helping people with depression, but it is expected that 12,000 new jobs will open up in the US only. The average licensed mental health counselor's salary in the US is $72,000. 
And we're back to renewable energy. We have renewable energy engineer as the next job. The renewable energy sector is experiencing significant growth. Renewable energy engineers are involved in project planning, small to large scale. And on average, they make $80,000 a year. The next job is business intelligence analyst. Business intelligence analysts take raw business data and translate their findings into dashboards, tables, and reports. These reports enable companies' decision makers to leverage this intelligence to drive more profits and business effectiveness. This can make up to $90,000 on average in the US, according to data from salary.com. Now you see how more and more jobs are connected with IT. This has been a trend for the past few years and it continues to be a trend. The next job is called information security and cybersecurity engineer. You have surely heard that data is the new oil. In fact, a lot of people say that companies who own data are gonna win in the next 10 years Years and companies who don't are gonna lose. So think about that if you're building a business. The most valuable thing we have in the 21st century is our personal data and information. And of course, as the number of data breaches and cyber crimes grows exponentially, people and companies want to protect their data and hire cybersecurity professionals to do so. The average salary falls around $94,000 a year. Now let's talk about robotics engineers. And I am super excited about robots. I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know, I've seen this robot who helps you with your household duties. And just imagine having someone do your laundry, cook for you, do all the cleaning, and it's a robot and you pay like, I don't know, $50 a month to do that job. But with the rise of robots, we will need more and more engineers to help program them. Tesla is already testing its robotic housekeeper and Elon Musk recently said that people will have to get used to living with robots. Robotics is developing in all areas from surgery to floor cleaning, so specialists who create and maintain robots will be in high demand. The average salary for a robotic engineer is $109,000 a year in the US. And of course, software engineers of all kinds will be in high demand in the next five to 10 years. There is a huge variety of software engineers and they will be in demand in the future as more and more technologies develop and people who will support this development are needed to create websites, application, new services, products. So if you had any doubts about the future of IT, don't doubt it. Yes, if you're a manual tester, your job might go away and I've talked to some specialists in that area, but what you have to do now, if you want to stay in IT, you have to learn how to make a code that's going to find mistakes in the code for you. The estimated total pay for a software engineer is $140,000 in the US and an average salary is $118,000 a year. Now we're approaching our top five high paying professions and number five is AI and automation consultant. As I mentioned, new AI services are popping up every day and entrepreneurs can keep up with this development. Of course, companies continue to spend millions of dollars on human labor because they simply don't know that AI can already do the job. An AI consultant analyzes the structure of a company and proposes strategies for optimization through the implementations of new technologies and AI. So basically you have to be really good at understanding what AI can do these days and what types of problems it can solve for companies. And thus you will be able to make a salary of $124,000 annually. Number four, extended reality developers and designers. You've likely seen me wearing the new Apple Vision Pro glasses that have just recently come out. And yes, they're very expensive and bulky now, but just like personal computers, I'm sure we will move very quickly from the first uncomfortable prototype to the point where almost everyone will have virtual reality glasses. So both designers and developers will need to adopt their skills to the new market needs. These people work with designers and artists and create those experiential prototypes, develop new visualizations and effects. The estimated total pay for an augmented reality designer in the US is $160,000 a year, and an average salary right now is $127,000. Okay, top three, here we come. Number three, data analysts and data scientists. As I mentioned, 
data is created every single day and the amount of data that we have is growing really fast. And that pace is only accelerating. And of course, everyone from governments to small businesses want to make data-driven decisions. So people who can analyze and get insights from big data will be especially valued. The average salary for this profession is 129,000 a year. Number two, oh my God, this is interesting. I don't know, like this is crazy. When I think about these professions, I only think about how when I was a kid, when I was six or seven years old, a lot of the professions that we have now did not exist. So my parents couldn't really prepare me for the future. Who would have guessed that I would become a creator on YouTube, right? And as a mom, I understand that there is no need for my girls who are four and two years old to really have any understanding of what they're gonna do in 20 years because the world is gonna change and it's been changing so, so fast. So number two, we have AI ethicist. Really? There are a lot of debates and disagreements around the ethics and responsibility of AI. Hence, we have this new profession. Many believe that the development of artificial intelligence should be stopped and slowed down for the sake of human safety. Scientists and entrepreneurs argue and cannot reach a consensus. But one way or another, it's clear that AI ethicists will be in great demand in the very near future. As an AI ethicist, you can make up to $137,000 per year in the US. Number two, ta-da-da-da. AI and machine learning specialists. The next bunch of professions will be AI related. Of course, AI has completely changed our lives in recent years. The number of new services and discoveries in this area is growing at a furious pace and machine learning specialists are critically lacking. Just listen to this. LinkedIn's Future of Work report published in August 2023 states, the share of global English language job postings mentioning GPT or chat GPT increased, attention, 21 times since November 2022. Recent research from 365 Data Science forecasts that demand for AI and machine learning specialists is projected to grow by 40%. From 2023 to 2027, with median salaries starting at $153,000 per year. And here we go, number one and well they're kind of connected with ai but not really number one profession that you should be looking at is a doctor or a healthcare worker and the thing is the healthcare industry is still the fastest growing industry and expected to add the most jobs in the next 10 years as a population we're getting older we live longer Thus, we have more diseases. Thus, we need more doctors. We need different kinds of caregivers, such as public health workers, case managers, patient advocates. And the average salary for a doctor is $202,000 a year in the US. So if you were thinking and dreaming of becoming a doctor and helping people stay healthy, this might be the sign. Okay, so these were the top 15 professions that will be in demand in the future. As you could see, AI specialists, very high demand. A lot of attention goes to environment, our physical and psychological health. Now let's look at the top five professions that do not have a bright future. Predominantly, these are jobs that will be replaced by robots and artificial intelligence. According to the Future of Jobs report by the World Economic Forum, the demand for these jobs has suffered the greatest reduction. Number one, anything connected with manual office job. Data entry clerks, secretaries, accounting, bookkeeping, payroll clerks, those things are gonna get automated and most of them are already automated. My friend just rolled out an AI that helps you with your bookkeeping and is doing such an amazing job. Security guards, well, this depends on where you live, but I've definitely seen a lot of security robots here in the US. Housekeepers. Here, I actually think that in five years, most of our household duties will be performed by robots. Maybe 10 years, okay. I I'm so impressed by robots that are entering the market soon. And cashiers and ticket clerks. Well, probably everyone who's watching this video has already used self-checkout at a store. 
So if you work in any of these fields, I highly, highly recommend that you start learning something new that will be in demand in the future. That was all from me for today. Thank you guys so much for liking this video, for subscribing to this channel. And I'd love to hear what job you have now and how the development of technology is affecting your work. See you in the comments. Bye bye.